More? More. Find me, give me, take me. Bigger, better, more. Come on, more. 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 Oh, catch it. Q. I know, this, this, you got to it. Dude, I was thinking about the song like a week ago and I was like, what's, what's this guy's name that sings it? Is it like Fountain? Fountain. It has something to do with water. You guys are supposed to be singing. My nigga, my nigga, my nigga. Do you sing? Courtyard is the biggest disappointment to me. Well, the lack of education. The student body, administration. School is like 60 grand a year and like, no. Also, student loans don't go away when you go bankrupt, so that's... I think the cliques, like I think they're, the people are way too separated. And I feel like we should all, um, instead of criticize um, bad criticism towards each other and, their, and our art, and the way we act, dress, um, we should embrace each other, um, and that way people would be, or could feel more open, and wouldn't feel as as if there are different, there are boundaries in between a senior class. Yeah, it's not so much that we like hate each other or we're that competitive. It's just that we're all so detached. When you overestimate something, you're bound to disappoint. So I've learned to underestimate everything. So I can be surprised. Yeah, yeah it's like, difficult. Yeah. I think the school lunch like, would be the biggest disappointment. Mm. School lunch. You right? Oh, you right? Lunch. You. How do you take mm. out pizza? We needed that. That's what I'm that saying. We only had that fresh yeah, We needed that. We needed the pizza. Papa John's. That was flop. If I kick ball in the funnel, that was fine. Yeah. Mm. Navarro left. That's a disappointment. Yeah, yeah. leaving too, man. Why is that disappointing? I don't know. I feel like even though he was really like critical, he was a good teacher. Yeah. So, so um, now freshman people, like freshman kids, will know how to draw. Martinez. Mr. Charles, uh, oh, his hair was too long. I didn't make it to the step team. We, we still love you guys, the step team. The step team. <laughs> I mean, the fact that they don't have a theater thing here is also a little disappointing. You know, I'm like, disappointed that there's no mucus in this. Are you gonna eat my boogers or not? When I first got here, I didn't realize that so many people didn't give a shit about art. Freshman year. Like, just not, didn't even want to be here, wanted to go to regular school, wanted football games. And that was just what people were saying on the metro, like, first day of class. I want to say that's a disappointment, but I was that person freshman year. So, you know. Well, Andrew, oh my god. Who? President? He's not a good president for y'all senior class. Oh my. I mean, listen, at the prom, Congress. did he do anything? Did he decorate at the prom? Me, Gillum, who else? It was me, Gillum, Brianna, and Andy at the prom decorating. What did Andrew do? Jack. I'm not even a student here. I he work here. He was too here. busy worrying about AP physics. No, he wasn't. He was too busy. He was too busy trying to get away from that. He didn't like he decorated it. We was the last person that left the prom. He's he. And I asked him when is y'all seeing your picnic. He didn't even know. I'm like, come on, you the president. You're I would have liked. Egos. A lot of people's always get in the way and it causes commotion and drama and for what? When are people forget it within like a week anyways? And it's ruined a lot of possible friendships and you know, it's just been so unnecessary throughout these years and why? 
for like competition and how you want to be better than the other person and like that brings you down. Mm. All of that, like trying to be good, but you're not good enough, and then it's like, it sucks. I'm more disappointed in like the time I've wasted, or the time that I feel I've wasted when I like wanted to do something that, like I wanted to paint something, I wanted to learn a different technique for painting something or for making a movie <laughs> or anything, creating. And I feel like I just didn't get that or didn't know how to ask for that and it was it was kind of hard. Yes, I have I had many disappointments, but the only time I have disappointments is because of myself, you know. It's not really as much dash as it, as it is me, you know, because mm -hmm. if I know I can do something or get it done, I'll do it, but if I know I can't, you know, that's going to be on me. So, unless I have like another way to get it done. So, she's not really she doesn't, she doesn't like me. <laughs> She says that she likes me, but she doesn't actually like no me. No one does that. This is me. <laughs> What's your biggest regret at Dash? Taking film as a stripper. Yeah. 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 Taking film as a strand. I should have gone into graphics or fashion. Yeah. 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 Well, recently I was called to the office, and it was about the who like vandalized the girls' bathroom. And I walk in, and then she's just sitting there like, really like sad she looks sad and then i told her like um it was just for like a art reference the thing that like broke was where the toilet paper was and i asked like dana to step on it so because I, I wanted it <laughs> i wanted him um, it was you yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i told because i wanted like a, an angle for like a pic like for the picture and then like dana is just like just hanging up there <laughs> and like it just opens and Danica's like shit and like she's just <laughs> like she just op like closes the door but she reopens it and then she's just like I almost pissed myself I, I really need to go and then like Dana gets off but the thing just went you, you did a graffiti or no? No, mm -hmm. I don't write on walls. The rest of the dash was like pretty sweet like as yeah. far as opportunities go. We had a lot of opportunities to sort of do better than we than we did. Oh, yeah. we, we talked a lot about doing things. Oh, yeah. Now, yep. Constantly. Oh, man, we just we're never the best at talking about doing things. <laughs> Is it hard of me to regret actually coming here instead of going to like a general high school because of what I ended up choosing as a college major? Like I want to be a psychiatrist, so I went for psychology. I guess my biggest mistake probably just happened like two minutes ago. Where I thought <laughs> I could help Miss K with her computer stuff. But it didn't happen, so you know. I mean, she wanted me to drag a font onto a JPEG, uh, not a JPEG, a pin drive, and I was like, "Damn, yeah, I got you, Miss K. I got you. This is easy. I'm a graphics kid." And I couldn't do it, and I just—it was bad. Damn, that's your biggest regret. <laughs> that's biggest regret. Damn. The biggest regret. Damn, you got a good run here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, Taking math. <coughs> but you had to take math. Not pre-calculus. Why? Like, why is that your biggest regret? <laughs> math is hard! <laughs> Nobody wants to take math! <laughs> I regret... I regret, like, not taking a drawing class this year. Why? This year? Yeah. Because I wish I, I could have gotten better, but it just got worse. <laughs> Or maybe the biggest regret would be like not going all out on Halloween the previous like three years and just doing it this fourth year because when I dressed up as Tonto I got a lot of friends you know after yeah. that day so no. maybe, I'd have, maybe I'd have three times the amount of attention if I had done it maybe right. like three years or four but yeah maybe that's about it <laughs> Yeah. Danica. 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 Danica.
and are more focused like on college and their future. So that's important. Well, um, I'm more open to people like in general. Like I used to be very afraid for people to touch me. <laughs> I, I don't like people to touch me. Why? Why? I just I just don't like people to touch me. But now I can hug people. I I value people that I'm like actually that have stuff in common with because we have conversations with each other that we take for granted and like that we probably can't have that happened. with normal people like it's not even just about art it's just like about things in general like I don't know I wouldn't like I have interests that I just didn't share with people back in middle school that were just things that I kept to myself and now I have a group of friends I can just talk with yeah Picking in college was like a huge thing, I think, for all of us. Like, we had to decide art school. We came to this school, like, trying to explore ourselves, and we did, so. From perspectives, because I went to, like, a normal high school for my freshman year, and everybody had, like, a very linear way of thinking, and, like, there was only one right answer and one plan, but I think going here kind of opened up more options. Like, I feel like the pressure also makes you, like, feel like you have to have, like, a persona. A persona that like is typical of this is, is that what yeah, like, yeah. Okay. like they feel like they have to be conceptual yeah. or, or like they just need because you do need to that's like true. stand out it's art like it's a competition yeah. so yeah, yeah, true. I don't think I've changed yeah I just I just became more like comfortable with people like in ninth grade and tenth grade I was like more like the mopey type I really didn't like talk but now I just really don't care I just get along and have fun. I mean, I've had the same friends since freshman year, so... Well, I value sleep a lot more. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> no, you just can't... It's like I learned you just can't sleep everywhere, you know? You, can't, you just can't sleep in all your classes, you know? You sleep <laughs> everywhere anyway! <laughs> so I came in here like architecture, and after going through the architecture program and trying out all the different things, I was able to figure out what I like and what I don't like. I'm more open. I guess. To what? Uh, like, I'm not afraid to be myself. It's like when I was a freshman and I wasn't here, I did not care about school at all. Mm -hmm. And then, like, mm -hmm. now to this point, it's like become the most important thing, I guess. And I'm a lot more, like, passionate about it. So. I think that happened with all of us since we yeah. all went to, like, regular high schools first. Oh, so we appreciate Dash a lot more. Yes. Yeah. Do you guys feel like Dash has, like, Changed you know, like even if you might not like it, like has it changed your morals or like your perspective? Has it changed us? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. For sure. Dash is like most made changed. Us the worst people ever. <laughs> 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 no. I got most changed. So. How do you think your your morals have changed since you started? That? Morals? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> How do you spell that? M. <laughs> oh, you mean murals? <laughs> <laughs> they haven't. They haven't changed, <laughs> which is a problem. I think we should address. <laughs> how do you? How do you? Like, my morals have changed. How? How do you? How do you like say that? From the beginning. From so AP. Shh, from the Too AP. From, from the beginning to now, my morals have changed in that. Um. I, <laughs> I think it makes you more ambitious in this. Like it. I guess it yeah. has you focus more on like um, really doing something with yourself when you're out of like high school. Like you know, maybe go follow what it is your talent or something. You get a lot of exposure to just different kinds of people and then different mindsets, different perspectives, and I learned a lot about a lot of the things that I integrate into my art and daily conversations and everything. So it definitely has helped me expand. I'm like I'm really grateful for it. <laughs> was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Something pepper and heavy D up in the... What's the scariest thing that Mr. Navarro ever told you? <laughs> Freshman year, I was super, super into the Jesus thing and religious and stuff, and he told me there was no God, so that was pretty frightening at the time. <laughs> he also saw me sketchbooking once and came over and he was like, I need to teach you how to draw. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> that pretty girls get away with whatever they want. That I was mentally handicapped. <laughs> yeah, I remember on the first day, Mr. Navarro had all the lights turned off. And oh, yeah, they used to. And then there was like, it was no, always burning. It was the <laughs> First day of school. First day of school. First day of school was so trippy. You like, can't. He told me my, my African mask was ugly. He was like, he like, thought it was African. I'm like, mm, 
my ancestors, cuz? Why? Mm, yep. Mr. Said, Navarro taught me how to catwalk. Mr. Go off the topic. On the bike? You said, said the Nah, dog, thing. like for model practice. He taught me how to catwalk. Was that scary? Nah, that was rough. I remember him. Honestly, that cost is a blur. Yeah, okay. it's just a sketchy you guy. Really? One time he said I looked like the mask I drew. <laughs> the scariest thing I mean, he did to me was chase me down to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> he told me he was the main bitch. <laughs> that he probably said to y'all, but see, I didn't hear that one, okay? <laughs> that, 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 that's a good one. That's really a He tried to convince me that the Bible says it's okay to eat babies. Well, in the beginning of the year, he told me that I have a lot of expectations from you. Just because I'm Asian. Yeah. <laughs> Anything he said was scary. He'd be like, pick up that paper. I'm just like, <laughs> 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 So, you know, when we had to draw the masks and yeah. you know, whatever, um, I was drawing my mask. You know, I, I didn't really, at that time, I didn't really know that I, how I got into the school. And I'm like, I'm not a very good drawer, but you know, I'll try. I'll try drawing my mask. So, I do. For one thing, he said, You are the worst artist I've seen at that. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 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 I don't know, because I think Navarro always hated Andrew, and he just blamed it all on Andrew. <laughs> I was drawing, and you know how he used to do those drawings and he like cut up the famous people? Yeah. He came up to me and he's like, you don't want to be an artist, right? That's what he told me. <laughs> I, I went home crying. What's the scariest thing you've told Mr. Navarro? Andrew called yeah. Mr. Navarro Hitler. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. I, I wasn't scared because I wrote it in a letter. What, what is a really just, nice letter. Why are you just saying that I think some of his teachings and morals are wrong, like he's kind of like Hitler. He didn't um, kind of like Hitler. He said, Your actions mimic that of Hitler's <laughs> because he told people false information and that's what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, he gave me a handshake. He, he liked me for like a day. And I'll be waiting for you right there, baby. I'll be waiting at a. Yeah. I remember <laughs> numerous times when I would just fall asleep under the table in his class. His voice is. Like, I slept every day the whole year. I'm like sleeping, and he's like, Hey, Goldilocks, wake up! And then Jordan Timinski's like, Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> he once spilled coffee all over his, um, his laptop and tried to blame it on one of the students, even though no one was around. <laughs> <laughs> like, Miss Stratton so. used to yell at him because after, after lunch, like, he would always have his shirt off, so he would walk in without his shirt. And like Adams would be like, Wait, yo shut up back off. Adams <laughs> hating on that pod. Be like, why did this person why did the tan person turn out as a thing? And I was like, because he had a bomb or something and like, you know. Hey, this is bad, like I don't want to bad mouth anymore. <laughs> I love everyone ever. Yeah. <laughs> I tell about this this couple that would go to this country where if if the body isn't found, they don't get in trouble and he would tell a joke like so my husband buys two tickets to this one place, you know, you can't get caught for that, and he gets a one-way ticket for his wife. I think one of my favorite Mr. Adams moment isn't when he was kidding, is when he was completely serious. But he was talking to someone about his fa what he thinks is good art and what he thinks is beautiful and amazing, and he was like, yeah, so, you know, I think this, I think that I saw this animated movie the other day, and you know, and it was beautiful. It was the first animated movie that I thought was absolutely gorgeous. The grass, the blades of grass, was perfectly. And he just kept on talking about how beautiful this movie is. And where I'm like, I want to watch. And this then movie everyone was like, What? What is the movie? And he's like, Yeah, I think, I think Madagascar is just, it's just the best. <laughs> Madagascar. I think Madagascar is just so beautiful. Oh, no. The other day it was uh. Hey, Mr. Regan. Hey. As I went down in the river to pray, studying about that good old way. Do you guys have any of your favorite uh, Mr. Regan stories? Yeah, and he taught us the term like TNA. Like, you'll look at somebody's work and be like, yeah, it's very TNA. Like, what, yeah, is like, TNA? what does that mean? Does that mean? <laughs> Tits and ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because have you seen Sterling's work? He's like, it's very TNA. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he said yesterday, like, all these kids weren't submitting for APs, and he told them to stop putting footing around. It made my feet feel really, really uncomfortable. <laughs> he knows everything. We're just really afraid of him. Yeah. <laughs> he's, like, the most... He's, like... I'm not scared of, like, really no teachers here, except for Miss Paris and Regan. That's it. 
I feel like what he's gonna say is gonna like reflect off his like wise nature. So I'm like, okay, I'm just sorry. Oh, the what? Yes. Yeah. Oh Wait, my god. Yeah, that? in two D. Okay. Um, I I brought these pieces of driftwood and I like pinned them up on the wall and. And it was just like the main focus were these glass sheets that had these bees drawn on them and like these ink blots. And like the driftwood is just to hold it up with like hemp rope. And he walked up to the piece and it was just like this wood, the detail of this wood. And I was like, that's natural. I didn't do that. That's just like, that's the piece of wood. And it was just like, that was for like maybe 15, 16 minutes, just like the wood. And I was like, so like, what do you think of the actual art piece? <laughs> it's, like... it's really red. He screams at me in body pee. This is getting weird. So, uh, what's your best Korean story? Uh, before prom, I was asking Mr. Regan if he was actually gonna go to prom. And he, he was just like, you know, I have tuts. I was like, yeah, you're probably look good at a tux. He's like, yeah, but I'd probably have to get it fitted. And he's like, touching himself. And I was like, oh, really? And he's like, yeah, you know, I gained some weight, right? And then I was like, oh, and he's like, He's like, yeah, you want you want to see? And he like lift up his shirt, and he was just like, look, look at it, look at my little muffin. And I was like, oh, and he's like, touch it, touch it. I'm like, oh, oh, and he's just like kept showing it to me, like, cool. <laughs> Fifteen minutes later, he came over. He's like, fourteen pounds, six weeks, fourteen pounds. Oh my god, when he told <laughs> me about the mosquitoes and the avocados. Or when he just goes on and on about his trip, like in spring break. Or when he goes fishing, there's just so many. Or how he stands. <laughs> his stories are great though. It helps like define him in like few words. Like if you say avocados, fishing, balsa wood, and bees. That basically sums up his entire personality. That I've ever told him. Hello. You've grown up way too fast. Wait, why did I grow up? She's way, grew up way too fast. What? She went to Exotica this weekend. I can't How believe did he it. Know? I heard that. Oh my god. I didn't even go to that. <laughs> it was so fun. <laughs> oh, I bet. That everyone knows. Did awesome. you buy any toys? No. <laughs> How about furniture? They have special furniture there too. I don't have that much money. Oh, okay. Just kidding. I wouldn't do that. I live with my parents. Did they come with you? No. Oh, okay. Uh, they didn't know though. Oh, okay. well, my mom knew. Yeah. You got big thighs and your ass is wide. Shake it, mommy, Lika, baby, don't be shy. If you got big thighs and your ass. Narrow it down a little bit. What's the weirdest thing you've ever seen a teacher do? Fart. Fart? Who farted? <laughs> Who farted? What? Adams. It's taken Amaroth. him for two years and he spends, you know, hours. He, t he, talks, he talks about, you know, chicken rice. And chicken rice. For like an hour and then everyone's like, let's take a field trip. To what is town. chicken rice? What is, I don't know, what I is don't chicken know. rice? Yeah, chicken perlo? He will look it up on his computer, find out what chicken rice recipe he wants, and then, you know, Think about the recipes and discuss every oh ingredient. I don't, know, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I just saw Miss K brushing her teeth like in the middle of the Oh, that's, that's, that's Yeah, that's, that's weird. True. She does that a lot. She brushes She does that all the time. Do that. Like. But it's like, she doesn't go to like a bathroom, right? <laughs> she just oh, yeah, does, she's, it. She's she's just does it in the sink right there. Whoa, let me, let me, let me, let me get out your way. What's up? Stop smiling. Stop having a smile. Yeah, wait till the camera get in your face. I guess that there's like a period this year, about six months, where I, even though I had an escape for four out of my eight classes, I did not speak to her once. She did not <laughs> I think Mr. Hankins, what does the fox say? Oh, yeah. was oh my god. god! The scariest thing a teacher told me was, hmm, let me guess. I mean, you know, Miss Brooks is pretty, she's pretty strict. Like one time she told me she'll beat me up, and I'm like, you know, I think I think about that sometimes. Dude, why did she tell you she wanted to beat you up? Mm, <laughs> you know, turning in a project late or like, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm going to beat you up one day. You, you better bring in my project. And I'm just like, dang. Mr. Almaroth um, throwing out, you know, <laughs> Mr. Almaroth in general. Mr. Almaroth? <laughs> like, true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because um, I... Who's the weirdest kid in our grade, Robin? Like, this is just oh one kid. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Um, like Chris, 
Brandon, Stefan, William, <laughs> Jordan. No, I, no, I, no, I, no, that's what I'm. That, I no, that's what I, that's what I call them the gay boys. Yeah. But they're not gay. But I, I just, you know, that's how we play. Yeah. What's the weirdest thing you've seen a student do? George is pretty weird stuff. Oh, shit. oh when George came dressed up as a fish. Julian was Jesus. Isn't Julian a cop? Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. The most embarrassing thing that's happened to you at Dash like during school hours. When I'm doing yoga and <laughs> and I'm waiting for the bathroom and then somebody walks in and I'm uh, upside down. When Harona stole Eileen's paint. Oh my god, tell that right now, tell that right now. Okay, so we were doing like one of those group critiques in Mr. Jermaine's class, and um, and so we had to like sift through the pile of paintings to find ours. And we so I thought I got my painting, and I hung it up, and I was like, you know, explaining it like 15 25 minutes, minutes. 25 minutes. <laughs> Into the critique. I really she hated about it. She like, said, I hate that I did this. this color is so bad, like so unrealistic. Like, yeah, I wish I hadn't like put this brush stroke here. And then Eileen raises her hand. She's like, um, little I, Eileen in the back of the class. Yeah, I think that's my painting. And like, <laughs> turns out I had taken her painting. I, was like, I like, remember no. doing this stroke. Like, yeah, that. Hirona was like, this is mine. Like Eileen, I don't know what you're talking about. And, and then like, Eileen no. found Hirona. They found Hirona Morgan on the back. Yeah. I mean, years ago, students used to be. In that back room in 150, doing, doing what nasty doing. stuff, doing what they doing, <laughs> and had no business doing. Get caught and state that they didn't do it, but it, it was it, they did they did it. Um, yeah, I had a broken sandal for a very long time, and it would just fall off sometimes, just slip off my foot. I was in the outside area, I went to the eye hall, and I got really mad at my sandal, and I kicked my foot in the air, and I was like, piece of sh. And the sandal just hit Saladin in the face as I was calling her a piece of sh. I was calling the sandal piece. She was just like, oh lord! And she ran into the hallway and I felt so bad. And it was awful. I was in Miss Grafton's class and I fell asleep and um no, but Ms. Grafton kept me. Trying to oh, wake me what, up. Urbina, do you remember her? <laughs> oh my god. Really drastic. <laughs> She's wanted me to massage Nika all all of French class. Oh, all of all of French class. Wanted me to massage. You were like, what if fingers your hands? Oh my god. Oh, that was so funny. Oh, 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 Rodney cry after I yelled at him for knocking down a bag <laughs> off, a t off a little seat. So I yelled at him until he just got teary eyed and asked me to stop. Yeah. Yeah. Why? <laughs> you made me cry. I made you cry. Yeah, you were really That's mean. a lie. <laughs> Are we going to do the Augustine? Do the Augustine? <laughs> What's the least, what's your least favorite thing that Oandy's done to you? He'll, he'll say an opinion and he'll just deny it. Oh, Andy, what's the least favorite thing you've ever done? <laughs> Hi. 
<laughs> What's your name? Sayana. My turn. Hi. You're gonna be really famous. <laughs> I don't know, burn it. I know Indigo has a plan to burn all of her. No, no, that's my Williams stuff. I'm burning all my Williams papers. Oh, yeah. but, okay. Um, well, but we can throw the art in there too. No, I periodically get rid of all my art, so you know most of it's gone already. Oh, Wait, boo. boo! I don't have any physical <laughs> art anymore. It's all computer. <laughs> Maybe take I one piece to college to yeah. remember. <laughs> I'll frame some of it. Frame it? I like a few, a few things. No? No. I'll think about framing some. Robots! Who wants to be a robot knowing this is reality? This is not robot reality. This is reality. This is not robot. No. Robot. That's, that's what is robot or robot? <laughs> I hope so because you guys are all going to get famous. Do you guys think that you'll be in contact with your friends from Nash next year? Yeah! yeah. Silly, I know that. So, I think I'm getting sillier, so. Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Life mm. in the unknown mm. can be a little prone to mm. some. Mm. Sometimes mm. you got some friends. Mm. Life has mm. many bends. Mm. Like a car mm. driving fast. Wow, I wish mm. I had a Cadillac. But, anyways, mm. <laughs> college is cool. College mm. rules. And so mm. your friends have rules. <laughs> I would like to say that I will keep in contact with that, but I really don't know. Amanda, we, tr we tried. <laughs> do, do you remember when I would message you over the summer? How many times would you message me back? But you text me like once this summer. Whatever, me and Amanda okay, got man. fancy right. little clubbing in Kansas City. Yeah. <laughs> I think have... that coffee okay. shops are where we'll meet, um, but I don't know because there's also the street, so <laughs> call my number. <laughs> I have a phone. Uh, uh, don't make me feel alone. <laughs> and I'll pick up at the tone. <laughs>
But no, no one called Alex. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who you're thinking. That, that kid, Omar, like, left and came back. Who's Omar? No, you didn't. Wait, <laughs> no, Omar. Camila Goez? Do you remember her? Yeah, she Ooh. moved to Argentina or something, right? Did she move to Argentina? Colombia? No, Colombia. Yeah. Who's Camila? Camila whatever. Um, Tariq. Who's Tariq? What about the, 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 the super tall Jose? I never hear from him. He, he he hasn't answered my Skype or Facebook oh, well, in eight months. Right. Bosh, was he the was he the guy? He was the other Jose. 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 I remember I was there when they got him. When they caught him, and he was in the office with his backpack, and he was just like, Jose's "Well, cool. what can you do?" <laughs> no, Jose Bosch never came back. Are you sure? No, he's back. No, he's not. I'm a hundred percent sure. He's not. He's in graphics. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Is Mirna? Oh yeah, where's this Mirna? <laughs> I forgot. I loved this Mirna. She was like my mom. Uh, Tariq does right. <gasps> oh, oh no! Miss no! Tariq. I grew up on the crime side, the New York Times side. Staying alive was no. What is? What's like what like a favorite experience from that? Okay. That you will miss. Oh, June second at three p.m. That. That one day in Mr. Zola's class, I think it was before winter break, where like we did absolutely nothing that entire class period. Everyone's just playing Smash Brothers. Oh, yeah, the whole room was just like filled with Smash Brothers. Hopefully in college I'll get the same vibe that I got here at Dash. It's a good vibe. Yeah, extremely good. Everyone's just together all the time. Um, I'll miss making Miss K happy. Um, you know projects that she assigned us. Um, I stayed up all night, just trying to make her happy, completing all my work. Yeah. So, what 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 is your most most grateful and memorable experience at Dash? Uh, you know, I didn't know like half the people in my class before making this video, but now I know everyone, and everyone's really nice. So I guess making this video was a good experience. I learned that even a lot of people talk about how we're all separated in cliques, but like at the same time, like so many of the stories were similar about the teachers and just like there's so much, like there's, there's definitely like ideas that everyone shares or at least experiences. So I think that's what brought us together. And now I know all of your names and faces. And so yeah, it's, it's been good. I have to tell you, I've been here for 15 years and Two classes are very mem memorable to me, and this class is certainly one of the two. I think that uh, it's a class of unique personalities that runs the gamut, and I love the fact that you are all individuals, and each one of you has worked together and helped each other get through four long years. I really appreciate the people that you are, uh, what you have been to us for four years, and where you are going. We will not forget you. Oh, thank you. Mm, I love you guys. I really do. <laughs> I mean it. Yeah. yeah. Thank I don't you. often say, hey, put me in. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's important but, to have you. Yes. So thank you. Thank it's you. It's true, though. Everyone has answered this really well. Everyone um, they picked it up pretty quickly. They sort of got it in the last grouping last one. Um, what is your best or best dash gag or dash joke that you can think of? Dying. There is so many dying. Like <laughs> um, we we were like, it'll be really funny. Let's let's crucify Brenda. Dash gag, because I was gonna say, you know, it's really funny when people say have a have a dashing day. That's so stupid. That's what I thought it meant. <laughs> knock knock. Phantom. Phantom. <laughs> I remember once Mr. Callahan, uh, he told us to, uh, he told us to like, uh, like we knew that there was like a fire alarm coming and one of us to like yell fire. 
so like when it like when it rang. So I was like, okay, I'll do it. And when the when it rang, like I stood up and yelled, shark. I think 305 is Dasha's biggest joke. Like 305 did. Yeah. <laughs> so much interesting names like with Iona. I almost got in trouble because of him. He would make fun of people's names. He would be like, yo, her name's Iona? And I was like, I think so. He was like, yo, I own a car. And I was like, oh, that's so wrong. And then and then when Kimani was there, he was like, Kimani? And then I, I whispered, Kimani, like, Kimani. And then he yelled it. He was like, Kimani. And she was like, if you ever say that again, I'm going to kill you. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, pretend to be Mr. Williams right now. And like, we should do like a little skit of like what happened. Just walk in. <laughs> Laugh from your earth. <coughs> Richard Williams, master of words. The way you affect us, the sheep that you heard. You think you are a really big pop, but we know you don't really want to be on top. We'll miss you next year. What's the difference between uh, physics here in America and in France? <laughs> I hate French people. Pose. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so boring. I'll only do a gag for a phantom bar. Training, and when I go with the skate crew with Stefan, every time uh, we are feeling motivated, we're like, phantom, you said phantom. And then everyone's like, we ain't gone yet. So that's kind of like our school call. That's like kind of like a battle cry. Can you all do it? I am. No, let me do it. One, two, three. Phantoms. No, yeah, football. Okay, okay, okay. I say phantoms, and you guys are like, we ain't going get. Three, two, one. Phantoms. We ain't, we ain't going yet. We ain't we going, going yet. <laughs> That was planted in my brain. Come on. Still remains. Shy sound. Within the sound. Oh, damn. Of silence. I told you. The restless dreams I walked on. That's it, I leave. Narrow streets of cobblestone. Neath a halo of a street lamp. I turned my. I love you guys. <laughs>